Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord.js series. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a custom status. I'll show you an example, it's just like my bot right here. Like it changes its status in an interval, as you can see here. Right, okay, so I'll be teaching you guys how to make this status. Okay, so um, let's start with the code. So you want to locate, um, let me just clear off all the files, okay, you want to go to events and then go to ready, okay, if you don't have an event handler, feel free to use uh, the event from index.js or your main file, okay, I have an event handler and I highly suggest you to use it, but if you don't want to use it, sure, uh, you can just find your ready event and we can start with the code. So first, what you want to do is, um, you want to do const array of status uh, let me just array of status and then we can define a few status so we do client dot uh, dot patch dot size servers and then we can do a line dot channels dot patch dot size channels um, Lion dot users dot catch dot size users and then we can also write like a uh, client dot user dot tag uh, discord bot and then we also can do like you can also write your invite link like invite uh like run y help or something like that okay so this is the array of statuses so now we're gonna start writing the function i mean um the function itself yeah the function okay so we just define index with zero and then we're gonna set an interval okay we're gonna use five seconds because we don't want to spend the api all right so in here we're gonna do if index is equals to um, array of status dot length and then index equals zero okay and then const status equals to array of statuses and then index right and then um, we can console log status just to show and then we can do client dot user dot set activity and then status and then index and then plus plus so we can increment it so uh, you'll run through all of these uh, in an order okay so this is basically what the custom status uh, code looks like so let's just try to boot this up mongodb Okay, once the bot is booted up, let's just wait for the status to load. Okay, two servers. Okay, and then let's just wait five more seconds, and then you should say channels. Okay, I misspelled channels, but you, you know, you can you can type it yourself. Okay, and then users. The next will be the Discord bot, as you can see here. You tutorial Discord bot, and then uh, run Roy help, as you can see here. And then uh, it will go back to two servers. Okay, so it's basically looping over and over again on uh, this array of statuses. So you can add like any, you can add more or you can add less. Um, it does really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this is the code. Okay, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, um, if you like content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. I learned that um, if you need help, uh, feel free to join the support server or you just want to join and chat with us, uh, just vibe with us. Um, other than that, have a nice day. See you again on the next video. Bye.